Hey guys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a top five for you all. And that top five is my favorite airsoft guns in my collection. Let's get right into it. Coming in at the number five spot is my SEMA AK-105. And this thing is just a beast. This is one of the, uh, uh, one of SEMA's VFC clone AKs and these things rock. All metal where it needs to be, polymer where it needs to be. The folding stock is pretty good. I don't have, I'm not have to worry, like, if I need to store it and put it anywhere, I can just do it like that and then just extend it when I need to. There's no wobble from the stock at all. It stays perfectly solid. There isn't a whole lot of rattle much at all, aside from the uh, magazine, which does tend to wobble a bit, rattle a bit, as well as the um, mock cleaning rod, which I have omitted from here because it just kept falling out and was just being kind of annoying. Um, but the reason why this is at the number five spot is because out of the box, it is shooting a little bit hot. I believe last time I chronoed it, it was getting like maybe 400 on point twos, something around there. And that means it shoots a bit too hot for a lot of um, indoor use. I know my local field, it shoots too hot for that field. And which is a shame because I really want to use this and play with it, but there aren't any, uh, there aren't a whole lot of fields around me and my local one, it's, it's not that close, but either way, it's, this is still a really solid gun at a pretty affordable price. Um, I believe last time I uh, checked the price on this, it was like to around 220, 240-ish and if you're a beginner and you're looking for a solid um, AK platform gun, this is this probably would be one of my uh, go-to um, recommendations for that. Any of the VFC uh, clone SEMA AKs would be perfectly suitable. Sometimes they can go on sale for like under two hundred dollars. Sometimes they just they retail for under two hundred bucks, which is really cool for all the. Um, neat stuff you get with them like these are really nice performers and they do exceptionally well and yeah i i gotta bring the power down on this one um so i'm able to use it at a field but other than that it's this thing rocks and i love it a lot coming in at the number four spot is a gun that hasn't been shown a whole lot i think i've only done one video with it, if you call it that, it was a YouTube short, it was a short, but I've only done one video with it, and that is my KJW KCO2. This is a 22 uh, replica gas blowback rifle, and this thing is just extremely cool. This is my first uh, GBBR, and I really, really like it. It's out of the box, it's okay. The stock cop up isn't the best. And I have noticed I have a CO2 mag in here right now. CO2 mags, or at least mine, are finicky. They, so they don't always work as intended, but my the green gas mags that I have for this work perfectly fine. So I'm not sure if that's like a valve Thing that needs to be checked or if it's just a CO2 mag and they do that. I don't know what the problem with that is, but regardless, this thing is still extremely, like, really cool. But I, I can't wait to, like, actually build this thing out and see just what I can do with it. I have a bunch of things planned for it, like, this thing's gonna be sweet when I'm done with it. But for right now, it's sitting at a comfortable, uh, fourth place spot on my top five list. Taking the number three spot on my top five favorite gun list is my Elite Force Glock 45 uh, made by VFC. And as you can see, there is a lot of stuff on this. 
I have since replaced the base plates with something a bit more extended and rubber. It's pretty cool. Um, I have shown this gun off in a gameplay video where I've used just this specifically. I've, I've done a couple videos where I've only used this specific gun uh, in a game and it performs uh, surprisingly well. I was genuinely pleased with how this thing ran and it was scoring hits and it was just extremely cool. And since the since I've gotten it, I've made a couple uh, upgrades to this thing, as you can probably tell. Like we have a textured uh, grip right here. I have RMR up there, compensator. We have a, a light extended base plate, as well as a threaded outer barrel and a new inner barrel and pop up assembly right there. The one thing that I'm not a fan of on this is, as I've shown in my most recent uh, gameplay vi video showcasing this gun, is the fact that every time I need to reload, I have to slap the front of the gun because the um, outer barrel screw the, that keeps the hop-up kind of sitting in place there uh, isn't latching on to the hop up correctly and it tends to slide in and out like that. It doesn't hit their performance but it's really annoying and anytime I need to do a quick reload it sticks out like this and I have to push the uh, outer barrel back into place which isn't fun but Again, doesn't hinder performance, it's just a cosmetic thing, and as of recording this, I have a new outer barrel coming, uh, it's on the way to the mail, and hopefully that will solve this, uh, issue, but despite all of that, this thing is still just extremely cool. This it will probably be my go-to sidearm for a while. I don't know if I can find anything else that could replace this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but for right now this thing rocks and it's just awesome. I love it. Taking the number two spot is another gun that I've only done a handful of videos with. Um, you've seen it in a couple of gameplay videos and just that I haven't done any actual like video on this mainly because I just kind of don't need to and that is my my own Matrix Calico Jack uh, PDW. As a lot of you would already, probably already know, is I have a second Calico Jack just like this one, and I got it as a Father, Father's Day present for my dad. Um, check out the video of it somewhere up here, in which, which corner it's in. But it has all the same features of that as that. It's just a bit shorter shorter barrel and just all that it's still pretty much the same gun same internals just a shorter barrel i have mine decked out with a couple of really cool stuff on it i have a light set up on mine i got a strobe or i can just do it like that all set up on this pressure switch i have the ace tech uh eye tracer unit thing like you got the tracer unit, the actual tracer unit itself then we have this little pec unit that can act as a BB count chronograph as like it can do some really really cool stuff like I can control the uh, tracer with this pec unit and it's kind of really only there for show right now I don't really actually use it it is kind of like a it is a pretty gimmicky system it's not really the most practical thing in the world, but it's really cool, and I just kind of like seeing it on there. I think it looks nice. I also have a little red dot just kind of chilling on there. Um, but yeah, this thing is just extremely cool. And one of my favorite things about this gun is the price that you can find them at. Much like what I said with the uh, AK-105, 
This is a surprisingly affordable gun for all of the uh, features that it comes with. Yeah, the body, it's its all polymer. The rail is polymer, the receivers are polymer. Uh, most of this external, most of the external heads are polymer, but the internals inside are pretty decent. You do get a programmable uh, ETU there. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's still really cool. Like, you can program a binary on here, you can program a burst, there's a burst function you can do. There's just a lot of really cool things you can do with it, and it performs pretty well out of the box. Like, I have had no trouble with this since getting it, and it, the only thing I really have changed on here is the inner barrel. I did change the inner barrel out for something a bit better. And yeah, even even with a stock one, it still performs pretty well. And this would be my go-to recommendation for a lot of beginning players, especially if they're on a budget. It's really cool, really affordable, super awesome. And yeah, I love it. I love running it. I love you know, using it. It's just it's just awesome. I love it. And finally, taking the number one spot on the list is my EMG Daniel Defense Licensed Mark 18 by SEMA. This is a SEMA Platinum uh, Mark 18 on the inside and it just rips. Since the only issues I've had with this gun since getting it is the... Um, basically, as far as performance is concerned, is the pop up and bucking were absolutely garbage they couldn't pop a 25 it was just awful i have since replaced them with a new hop up new bucking and now it just runs and it runs extremely well i love this thing anytime i go out to play i always bring this i this is just one of the guns that i know i can count on like have no idea but this I love it it's all metal I have it decked out with a lot of like really cool stuff I have a a spec predator mark II just chilling on here it's awesome it's a quick attach uh, mox uh, chaser unit and back like that I have it set up with another cool light just like the uh, calico jack awesome little red dot awesome little uh this is a PTS foregrip. And again, this thing just rips. Out of all of the AEGs that I have gotten in my collection, this is the one that just sounds the... This thing sounds awesome. A lot of stock AEGs will sound kind of noisy, a bit grindy maybe. Just fine, but not great. Like, they could have been done a bit better. This is the one that easily sounds the best i love running it it before since changing the hop up and uh bucking this thing just it runs and it runs extremely well uh, <laughs> I, I love it and uh, this is going to be probably my go-to uh m4 for a long time a long long time i have absolutely like nothing Aside from, again, uh, bucking and hop-up, I have nothing bad to say about it. Like, no no other issues whatsoever with this gun yet. Um, but, yeah, I, <laughs> I love it. It's here to stay. Easily my favorite gun out of my entire collection. All right, there you have it, everyone. My top five favorite airsoft guns in my entire collection. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider leaving a like on the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you want to. Links to the official Instagram and Discord server are in the description below, so please consider checking those out. That's it for today's video. Uh, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.